And today I'm taking you to the not so well known but huge distillery of Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond is a distillery that is, like I said, not well known but it is quite big. It is actually uh, built in 1965, so it's only been around for about 50 years. And it was built inside the remains of what used to be a huge paint factory. There you go, they, they, they made and mixed paint in that factory until the company took over those, uh, those buildings and installed it with stills to create what is now the Loch Lomond distillery. <coughs> Excuse me. And it sits, of course, on the, uh, on the shores of the Loch from which the distillery takes its name. Now, not only do they have a, um, uh, a staggering output of 10 million litres, it is little known because not much is put out on the Scottish market. Basically, the core business of the Loch Lomond distillery is producing huge amounts of malt and grain whisky that is used as fillings, as they term it, for the blending industry. And even furthermore, most of it is actually meant for export. Now, since you also have, besides the uh, copper pot stills, uh, they also have a coffee still since 1993, uh, which means that they can create both malt whiskey and uh, also grain whiskey. But besides that, they also have a very special uh, type of still, which is a bit of a combination between the traditional pot still and the uh, column still or the coffee still, and that is what they call the Lomond still. Now, with these three types of stills in the factory, they can create different kinds of whiskey, both malt and, 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 and single grain uh, whiskies. And so they have all these brands, and maybe you've heard of them, um, and I have, to, I have to say I don't know all of them, and I don't know how to pronounce all of their names, but maybe you have heard of the uh, Croftongia, uh, Old Rosdu, the Inchfad, the uh, Inchmurrin, uh, there's also the uh, Craig Lodge, and the, uh, uh, what's the other one, Inchmoan, and then of course there is the Inchmurrin. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't. But I will be trying the, uh, the Inch Murray, which is easily obtainable, and it is now uh, being released in these completely new revamped packagings, very modern, with very strange colors in my opinion, but that's besides the point. I'm trying an older bottling. Nowadays, Inch Murray is being bottled at 46% ABV. This older bottling of Inch Murray, 12 year old, is actually bottled at 40% ABV, and that's the one I will be trying today. So, Inch Murray, 12 year old. The colour is, well, it's a bit copper-like, uh, uh, deep golden to copper almost, bottled at 40% on the nose. Well, I get loads of caramel and, and some grain cookies, some sweetened malt, maybe even some, some ginger, some vanilla, a bit of mint in fact. And a lot of nuts, I do believe some shake casks were used in the composition of this inch mode. And to be honest, I even get some chocolate. This, this nose is not even half bad. Now, I, I, I sound a bit uh, down-talking the inch mode, but I have to be honest, I've tried quite a few things from, uh, from the Loch Lomond distillery, and so far I have not yet come across a whiskey that I could call good. So this is a pleasant surprise, because this nose is not half bad. On the palate, then. Hmm. It's rather creamy, somewhat juicy, some pepper, a lot of oak though, quite some tannins, making it a bit dry. The nuttiness returns, but I get maybe some sugared almonds, but there's also something in there that reminds me a bit of wet cardboard, and in this case, I do believe it's a bit of an off note. So, the nose was better than the palate. This is, yeah, I won't call it astringent, and it is far, far uh, from, uh, from a bad whiskey, but it certainly is not very, yeah, there's not a lot going on here, and what is going on is not really to my liking. The finish is smooth, but rather woody towards the end. So I have to be honest, uh, 
inch modern, not really my cup of tea. Uh, it, uh, it does live up to the reputation that the Loch Lomond distillery has, which is not very good. But in that sense, this is, this is certainly not a very good whiskey, but it is a far cry from the worst whiskey that I've ever had from Loch Lomond, which was the, uh, the Loch Lomond uh, single malt itself. Uh, having said that though, it's not really worth uh, looking up for. So if you can try it at a whiskey tasting or at a festival, you should really go ahead and, and, and give it a try. But I wouldn't go out there and uh, source a bottle. It's really, you can spend your money on something else and uh, it will be much, much, much better. Having said that though, as, as, as a funny aside, uh, Loch Lomond is actually uh, 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 Captain Haddock's most favorite whiskey. Did you know that? If you are familiar with the, uh, the Tintin comics, which is actually Belgian, uh, Hergé, the, uh, the, the artist who passed away, uh, he, uh, he actually had Captain Haddock's favorite whiskey in his comics as Loch Lomond. And the funny thing is, the Loch Lomond distillery didn't even exist at the time. Now, if you ever visit Loch Lomond Distillery, which you can't because there's no visitor center, you will see that they actually have a train, a, 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 a train wagon on their premises uh, in yellow, which says Loch Lomond, uh, Loch Lomond Whiskey, as it was also portrayed in one of the uh, Tintin comics. Uh, but the distillery uh, really says it's got nothing to do with the Tintin comics, it's got everything to do with the Loch of the same name that we use the water from to produce our whiskey. But having said that, <laughs> it's not really a very good whiskey in my opinion. And the Inch Murin, the 12 year old, the older bottling, eh, I'm not sure what the newer bottling at 46 says, but the older bottling at 40% of this one is really, really not that good and not really something to look out for. And that's it for all this, uh, uh, for this whiskey rambling, and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mold be with you.